So my missus has asked me to go down to home base and buy some carpet cleaner and a cheap hammer and I look really suspicious because it's like I'm going to go home and bludgeon somebody to death and then clean up to hide the evidence. I think she's setting me up. Right, we've got to sort this out. Dominique, yeah. you asked me to buy a hammer yeah. and some carpet cleaner. Why yes, did you did. need those things? Because the carpet needs cleaning and because the hammer um, is, is spare. Are you planning on killing me? No. Because the woman at the checkout told me it looked like you were going to kill me. Did she? Yeah, she said that you were going to... It's not a bad idea though, really, ...cave my head in with a the hammer, hammer and then clean up. up. Yeah, and getting you to get the stuff. That's pretty good. That's not really on, is it? No, then, but it's given me an idea. Because then when I'm dead, they'll check the CCTV and go, oh, look, he bought it himself. It must be a suicide. You wouldn't be able to clean up after a suicide. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, lady. <laughs> look, we're doing all this gardening stuff at the allotment, and I'm getting more and more concerned. Cause there's just murder weapons everywhere. And Why should I bring you the hammer? You, what, so you can beat me in with it? There you go. Look, here's another one. You could do some serious damage with that. And she's at it already, look. There, that's where my headstone's gonna be. And she's been digging a grave. Look, you can see, disturbed earth. The police are gonna find this immediately. You're never gonna get away with this. <laughs> look, she's practicing. She's imagining that's my head. What? It's kicking me as well, that's out of order. You'll never take me down. Right, I better run.